What is good, YouTube? It's your boy Dark Green Poo back again to watch season seven, episode three of My Hero Academia. All right, guys, I just got back from doing my. Well, if you watch my Demon Slayer, uh, I needed to leave early because I had to do something on Diablo, but now I am done. So I am just here to react to My Hero. Sorry, my hair is just all over. It's always all over the place, man. I never fix it before I start recording. <laughs> Not that it matters to you guys because it really doesn't, but uh, it matters to me, man. It matters to me. Anyways, let's just get this. Uh, Let's just get this episode started with, guys. I'll give you the countdown. Three, two, one, go. I'm just hyped to watch this. Okay, so we're getting a... We're just getting a recap. I watched My Hero second because I feel like um, Demon Slayer, it had like... It had more of like a story aspect episode. So... That's why I decided to watch uh, My Hero second. But then again... Wait. Mm -hmm. Like this is just a uh this might be like a down because last week's episode was too crazy. See an extension. Sick. Ooh. Hey yeah, guys, last last episode hurts still, man. I mean, we lost Star so so quick. We I, I felt like we just met her. She was around for maybe what three episodes? The end of season six, first episode, then second episode, then gone. I'm kind of hungry. I'm gonna definitely eat after this. Yeah, hopefully you guys' week has been blessed. Sorry if I didn't upload um yesterday on Monday, but uh in Canada it was Victoria Day, so it was it was a holiday essentially. So I was in holiday mode, <laughs> and I just completely forgot to watch the episodes. It's funny because like I I forgot it was a holiday yesterday. And I almost went to work, but I was off. So I'm always off on uh, holidays. But yeah, I was already in my car. I was like, wait, what the hell? What day is it today? <laughs> yeah, I'm just so happy my hero is back. My hero and Demon Slayer coming back at the same time is kind of goaded. <laughs> oh, wait. Um, Sorry, guys. Let me just check. I need to know when the basketball game is. Starts at 8. Bless. And then T-Wolves and Mavs are tomorrow. Good. Okay. Let's get to this. Oh, so their hideout. Look at him. Other me. I think my camera might be zoomed out more. I don't know. Damn, that mad. Mm. I was just going to say, how does this work? Do they both have one for all? Or all for one? Damn, New Order is that serious. Chair is floating. Not Dobby. Please tap in his foot. Foot tapping. Oh gosh, I thought my audio was on. Plan B, plan C, plan D. Mmm, that's wild. Damn. So in case we don't get new order, then we can do this and get... Damn. Yo.
He could sense him whenever. Oh no, they just know that they're in there. What? No way we have a traitor, right? No way the invisible girl's a traitor, right? You wouldn't know though. Or maybe or maybe he took he took the invisible girl's ability and she's dead and we don't know and then he gave it to somebody else. Okay, guys, I'm that information was just so like and, and especially panning to the invisible girl. Yo, Bakugo! Yo, Bakugo is my favorite of the show. It's multiple. So his sweat explodes. Damn, yo, look at him control both! Yo! Look at him control both! Yo, that's dirty! He cools himself. Nice. That's so cool. It's cool seeing, like, all the upgrades. This guy's just... I want to go back to that scene if they don't further explain it later in the episode. Mm. He's a wuss. That old nutsack. <laughs> I could go. Yeah, so it's not even the full potential. Look at the animation. That's true. Ah, right, uh, there you go. My sneeze is gone. Woo. Look at his hair. Not I, we. Yeah, exactly. So, we're not sure if the quirk is gone yet, right? The sensing quirk. Isn't that messed up? How, like, um, your quirk can just be taken away from you? You've gone your whole life with this one quirk and then they just take it from you? She's okay.
You traitor, no way! No, I liked him! Don't fall for this, man! You're better than them! No way! So it wasn't the invisible girl. Stop trying to convince your child, bro. So he got a quirk from one f all for one? So he was quirkless. Wait. Yo, this is tripping me out, man. What do you do? That's that's messed up, though. You can't put it all on him. That's messed up. Deku. Yeah, so she got Deku? This is crazy. He he didn't. No, man. I, it's, it hurts me because I liked him, like. Because, like. No way. No way. I liked him because he was trying to, like. Even though his power is kind of like, like annoying, but we refuel it. So he doesn't care about Yuga at all, or I all. Uh, Ayoyama. This is messed up, man. Aoyama. What quirk do they have? No, man. Look at them. They're nice. That was the same thing as Deku.
They did it in a bad way, though. No, man. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, this one was awful for him. See, they just wanted what's best for their kid. Look at the. That's what, so Dobby probably noticed him, but he didn't say anything because he was the spy. So he's trying to still follow. No way! No way are you trying to fight him right now! You Yo, she can. She's the complete counter to him. Yeah. Ouch. Yo, you could see her. See, this hurts him too. This is. This is. Kind of like, if you guys know AOT, this is kind of like that. Yo, man. See, I, I liked him as a character. I still do. He's just, he wants to repay... Damn. So he was the one. Yeah, I didn't know either. I, but now the... Damn, yo. The, he was pissed. No, that's why, yeah, that's why Dobby didn't react to them. See, like, the consequences... That's tough. Yo, when you could see her. Ugh. Uh, yeah, because you're comparing yourself to Deku. Don't say that, man. You did.
the hero in, in Deku, man. <sighs> this hurts. Yeah, in case if he reveals too much, he might explode like Nagant. Interesting. Because they could we can give false information. Yeah, we could give false information. Ayama's a hero, man. Yo. Yo, I I like this episode, man. Because okay, sorry guys, I'm just okay. This ending's cool, but um, I need to pause it because I need to get my head wrapped properly. Um, I liked Ayama because yeah, of the whole you no know, when he was uh, encouraging Deku during the second phase of the of becoming a hero. I forgot what it was, but when we had to face the other schools, right? Uh, Ayama came in clutch and he, he became the beam to light up everyone so that everyone could see, right? Everyone could see Ayama, um, Hagakure, the, the, uh, invisible girl. Very cool how we were able to see her actual form, uh, in the light refracted. And yeah, you see the emotion and Ayama and her are very, um, I, I felt like they were close, right? I felt like they were always together. Um, during the episodes or like the episodes that we've seen but he like the only reason why i liked aoyama so much because his his quirk is his quirk sucks you know what i'm saying his quirk sucks um not not the fact like not the ability itself well the ability isn't that great either but the fact that it's also like a double-edged sword like it hurts him too right so his quirk isn't even like the best one um but at the same time, he's trying his best to work with what he's given and what his his parents gave him and worked well through his eyes. He's still a kid at the end of the day. If you see it, he's still a kid in high school and it, it doesn't matter about the age. But when you're yeah, when your parents are there like to take care of you and like you see them doing like the worst things, but it's all for you type of thing. It's it gives it like a it gives it a different meaning like you want they wanted him to be happy by having a quirk but now he wants to make them happy because they worked so hard to get him that quirk right so it's kind of like a it's a full circle and look at her face and um seeing and like even though this is what it took to quote unquote make his parents happy his parent all his parents wanted was for him to be happy right and also they didn't want to die <laughs> so they had to listen to all for one um but yeah super sad 
Uh, but Ayama is one of my... He's not like my favorite character, but he was a character I liked. So him being a traitor, what, like this whole time, I was like... I was like, no way, man. And like, who are these people talking? It was his parents. We get an Ayama flashback. And we just see how how much his... um. We see how how uh how much Aoyama's parents really um cared for him, right? And and like all the scenes with um with Aoyama crying and it's just like a purple background, you see the turmoil, the inner turmoil that he's being dealt with, like that he's been dealing with because these are his friends. Right? These are his friends. Sorry guys, I'm getting a thumbnail. Um, and I guess like, I guess what um, like if you were in Ayama's position, you would also feel like a villain, right? You're having your friends here. You're like all the information. You know you're giving away valuable information, and every time you give away information, Abuyama was there too. Right, so Aoi Ayama is firsthand seeing what, um, like the reaction of what he's doing. You know what I'm saying? Like, if he was just giving away information and he wasn't there, he could have just, um, like out of sight, out of mind. Right? He doesn't have to think about it. But he was there. That's why, yeah, in season two or three, right, when they started to invade, uh, the the training grounds with the cats and Dobby. Right, he notices, right? But he didn't do anything. He just started walking. Um, and when I was watching it, at least at the time, maybe in I don't even remember how long ago that was. It was a long ass time ago. But I definitely remember that at the time I would I just thought, oh man, Ayama got away. He got out of there. He got lucky. Now that we're seeing this, that's not the case. Right? I'm pretty sure Dobby knows. Dabi knows not to mess with Aoyama. Um, kind of weird how Shigaraki doesn't know that. Or maybe Shigaraki also does because um, One for All or All for One was just saying how he has friends as well, right? Um, but it doesn't mean that they don't know who his friends are, right? If he's getting information and he just tells them, but he doesn't know. Maybe they don't know who they're getting the information from. But I feel like it, during invasions like that, especially the way that Dobby reacted to like noticing him but didn't say anything. He was just behind the bush and he was just hiding. No way. No way Dobby doesn't notice him there. He looked over there and knowing the skill level of Dobby and like how much of a ruthless killer he is, he's not letting Aoyama slide like that. So I think that Dobby knows about Aoyama. That's why he let him go. Um... And let them just hide in the bush. It's so crazy. I liked Aoyama as a character. I still like him as a character. He was just... Man, the situation he's in is brutal. Very brutal. Because I imagine... Like, his parents did that for him, yes. But maybe they did it for him because they saw how sad he was that he didn't have a quirk, right? So it's just like, man, my son is sad. I just want him to feel normal like everybody else. And that's what he's always been wanting is to feel like part of the group, I guess, uh, and not be like an outcast. And uh, his parents didn't want to see Ayama sad, man. And um, I feel like for any parent, um, or even if you're thinking of becoming a future parent, or maybe even your niece or nephew, right? Um, if you see them, like, if there's something that you can do to help them and they're like... I don't know, just like in the worst possible place mentally or whatever they're dealing with, you would do anything to help them, right? Um, and at the time, well, I guess for the parents, since they're rich, all the they they're just thinking about the end result. You know what I'm saying? Uh, get the quirk, no matter the price, right? Uh, and at the time, I guess uh, all for one wasn't that much of a villain. Maybe I, I have no idea. It's at ten years ago. But if he was just selling quirks like this and people are just taking it and like allow and they're like, oh, yeah, I can buy a quirk from this guy. then I feel like he wasn't what he is known to be now. I feel like everybody will not mess with um, 
uh, all for one now. Especially the parents, they they know they're they're scared at this point. They're like, we have to fulfill this this agreement or this contract, or else we're dead. Right? We we've seen it happen. Anyways, guys, super cool episode. I love. Uh, I'll, I'll talk about it more after my ending thing but yeah this is the end of the reaction if you like this reaction don't forget to like comment subscribe if you're new it'll really help our community grow and hit that notification bell button so you're notified whenever i upload i wanted to say that i'm i really love the way that this show has grown um in terms of uh themes like mature themes in terms of um just the emotional roller coasters because in the beginning of this anime when I was watching it, when it first started, season one, right? I might have been in high school. I don't even know. But season one, when it's kind of like, oh, it's another superhero anime. Oh, man, he's trying to get stronger. <laughs> right? Um, and it was like that for the first, like, three, four seasons. But then, man, it really takes a dark turn for My Hero and in a good way, man. it's It makes the story so much better. Um, the risks are a lot more than... Um, than it was before and not everybody is safe i think the first uh the first big blow to that really like solidified how serious this anime can be for me was when uh lamillion no i forgot his his like real name but when he lost his quirk right i was just like yo it could get like that like he could lose even with stain i was just like uh, when he was like stabbing the kids like to get their blood i was like yo this kind of it's kind of dirty but that's the way his power works right but um yeah in terms of themes in terms of like losing things and i feel like lamillion was the real like eye opener for me anyways guys enough talking uh this yeah i already said this is the end of the reaction so yeah <laughs> it's been your boy dark green poo and i'm out this bitch later